Lent is the yearly penitential season, and is always an occasion to stop and reflect upon our lives, and to repent of anything which turns us from God. As Christians, we always call to mind the first words of the ministry of both John the Baptist and Jesus. Repent, for the kingdom of God is near at hand. In the holy season of Lent, our Lord especially challenges us to turn from evil and to choose the path of holiness. As the great early Christian writing, the teaching of the Twelve Apostles exclaims in its opening line, there are two ways, the way to life and the way to death, and there is a great difference between them. Lent is a time for us to resolve to turn from the path that leads to death and advance down the path that leads to life. We need to become purified, especially through the sacrament of reconciliation, so that we will be ready to enter into the Easter celebration of the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Pope Benedict XVI tells us that the book of Psalms can teach us how to pray and is the prayer book par excellence. These inspired songs teach us how to speak to God, expressing ourselves and the whole range of our human experience with words that God himself has given us. The penitential Psalms are Psalm 6, prayer for recovery from grave illness. Psalm 32, the joy of forgiveness. Psalm 38, a penitent sufferer's plea for healing. Psalm 51, prayer for cleansing and pardon. Psalm 102, prayer to the eternal King for help. Psalm 130, waiting for divine redemption. Psalm 143, prayer for deliverance from enemies. Since ancient times, these seven Psalms have been used by Christians as a way of appreciating more profoundly the need for repentance and the joy of forgiveness. The Psalms help us to see ourselves without illusion. They break through our resistance to confronting reality and lead us to new life. The Psalms are effective in this because in them language is artfully used to illuminate life. They help us to see our frailties, our lies, and our self-deception. The Psalms are like a window through which we see the sin which is in the world. We condemn it because it is always easy to recognize and condemn sin which is outside of us. And then the window becomes a mirror in which we see that we ourselves are sinners. Although these Psalms help us to see ourselves as sinners, they do not make us turn inward in an unhealthy way in scrupulosity which is when a person becomes obsessed with sinfulness. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. Oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt in whose spirit there is no guile. I kept it secret, and my frame wasted. I groaned all the day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said, I will confess my offense to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but him they shall not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord, you save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like the horse and mule unintelligent, 
needing bridle and bit, else they will not approach you. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exult, you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart.